Hello and welcome to another lesson of the TI-30 XB student course. In this lesson today we're going to be looking at using the function table again, uh, but this time with a worded problem that involves a slightly more complicated linear equation. If you haven't listened to the previous lesson in this series, uh, which is the first part of the function table, I strongly recommend that you go and listen to that video before you continue on with this one. So our context today that we're looking at is we have a bathtub and our bathtub has 200 litres of water uh, and it's being emptied at a rate of 1,000 over 27 litres per minute. So the linear equation that we're modelling is our volume equals to 200 minus 1,000 over 27x, where x is our time that uh, has uh, time since the plug has been pulled out of the bath. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is go into my function table um, and then I can input in the equation um, that I'm interested in. So I'm going to press that table button there just next to the clear. Uh, there's already an equation in there, I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, and I can type it in there. So y again is my volume and then my equation is 200 minus as a fraction 1000 over 27 and then my variable x, which again just a reminder it's the time since the plug's been pulled out. Now the first part of my question, we want to find what is the volume when the time is equal to 0, 2 and 4 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to press enter just to apply that function to the table. And then I can set up my, my um, parameters here. So I want to start at 0. My step, I'm happy with that being 1. Um, and I also, I'm going to keep this on ask x. And that's because um, the times that I'm interested in are not uh, uh, sequential times. Okay, so 0, 2 and 4 minutes. Um, and I'm not actually interested in any of the other times. So by using the ask x, I can just specifically ask for those three values and not get my whole table of values. Okay, so I'm going to press OK. All right, so my first one was where my time is zero. So I'm going to input zero. And then we can see volume is 200. My second one, where my time is two minutes. And there I can see that uh, 3,400 over 27. And the last one is when x is 4 minutes, and there I can see that one, 1,400 over 27. Okay, now you might think uh, for that time 2 minutes, 3,400 over 27 doesn't really mean much as a fraction, so you might want to convert that to a decimal. Now there isn't any way to do this within the table, um, but we, if we just remember that value, we can quit out of the table here, put that in as a fraction, so it was 3,400 over 27, um, make sure you're out of the fraction to do this and then uh, pressing second and then the table button again just to convert that into a decimal. So we can see at time two minutes there was, uh, say to two decimal places, 125.93 litres uh, still remaining in the bath. Okay, um, a little bit of an extension on this question. You might be asked to find at what time does the bath completely empty with water? So at what time does that volume get down to zero? Uh, now this would probably usually involve some a little bit of algebraic working that you might be expected to do, um, but you can use your calculator to help you kind of confirm your answer or get an idea where the answer might be. So I'm just going to go back into my table uh, and I'm going to keep that same equation in there, so just press enter. Now in this case, um, I'm going to start my time at zero again, but in this case, I'm going to make the step uh, 0 0.5. Okay, so I'm going to go up in a half a minute rather than a minute. And all, um, the reason why I'm doing that is just to get a, maybe a bit of a better idea at what time the bath might empty. Um, and then I'm not going to use my ask x. Now I want to see my whole spectrum of values. So I'm going to use the auto to bring up my whole table. Pressing OK. And now you can see, okay, so you, our x is our time and then the y the volume. So I'm looking for at what point in time does the volume change from being a positive value to a negative value? Because between those two points, that's where our time, our volume must um, become zero. And we can see that happens between five and five and a half minutes. So at five minutes, our volume was 400 over 27. And at five and a half minutes, it goes down to negative 3.7 litres. I'm now going to go back to my table settings again. Um, and I'm going to change the steps. So I'm going to decrease this again. And I want to start it now at five minutes. Because again, I know it's sometime between five and five and a half what I'm interested in. So if I start it at five, I'm going to bring my step down to 0 0.1. 
and I'm going to go OK again. So now this is going to give me 0.1 increments uh, in my table. So I can see there are 5, 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, and we can see at 5.4 minutes that then becomes 0. So that's the point where our bath is empty. Um, now, you might not always be able to find exactly uh, that point where something becomes 0 or it reaches a point that you're interested in. But what's really useful about the table is it does help to give you an idea about where that might be and that can help you confirm your answers that you've found algebraically. Okay, I hope this was helpful um, and have a lovely day and I'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye.